That is a fatty McChubby bear. Well, I'm no biologist, but I would say that there's been a bear frequenting the area. That's a lot of piles of bear scat. Now, I'm going to try and find the bear from a safe distance. See if I can get some photos of said bear or bears. I'm going to be careful. Don't worry. Safety first. Okay, so there's... There's a bear. I'm gonna back away and get my camera out. See if I can get some photos. Okay, so originally um, I just saw one bear here and now it turns out that there's two here. So this is a mother with a cub. Um, <clears throat> both of them, the, mo the mother's down at the base of the tree here. And so that's why, that's the first one I saw. But then as I look higher up in the tree, there's a cub up in the tree. So of course I'm going to be, hang on, I'm going to get a picture here. Uh, so I'm going to be extra careful here. Of course, I'm always careful around bears, but this being a mother with a cub, I'm going to be extra sure that I'm not going to get in between them or somehow stress them out. <clears throat> They're certainly aware that I'm here. Uh, they probably heard me coming or smelled me coming in the first place, which is why the cub went up the tree. But uh, I'm going to just kind of hang back here see if the bears let me make some photos see if they get comfortable enough to start uh, hitting the berry bushes again because we're surrounded by these lovely orange and yellow berry bushes it's just gorgeous so I'm hopeful maybe maybe they'll let me make some photos here while they eat but I'm gonna do my best to be careful and very respectful of them give them plenty of space I'm shooting with a 500 millimeter lens right now and uh, so far, so good. Awesome. All right, well, I'm still waiting here. Uh, Mama bear is continuing to graze on berries here. Uh, the cub is still up in the tree. There's, there's no shot right now. The mother is grazing at the backside of this berry bush. So maybe I'll get lucky and she'll work her way around here. And then I can get some images of her. But there's gorgeous fall colors in this berry bush. And uh, so I'm going to hang in here and just see if they get comfortable with me. And give me some opportunities because this is really cool. 
and this this time of year it it uh, it seems like it would be very dangerous and it it might be to a certain extent there's certainly risk being out here uh, with black bears but the bears have such an abundant food supply they're interested in these berries they're not interested in me as a as a food source so as long as I don't any do anything to piss them off basically if I if I treat them respectfully and give them enough space and uh, don't harass them in any way and just let them continue to eat, eat their berries and try and stay away from them, let them do what they're going to do. Um, everything should be, uh, you know, as safe as it can be. Of course, there's some risk to being out here, but uh, I, I like this situation right now. I'm comfortable. Uh, certainly the mother bear is comfortable enough to be just grazing, eating off the berries. Uh, the cubs up in the tree still and uh, just gonna wait and see what happens but it's it's so cool to be just you know in the presence of of wild bears it's it's really cool i i love this this kind of situation um, as long as i keep myself in check and keep a close watch on the bears and their behavior i think everything's going to be okay out here and then if i make some images that's like uh, super bonus as well. The main thing right now is just trying to be safe, trying to respect them, make sure neither one of us gets hurt or uh, has any kind of a situation that's uncomfortable at all. giant male just walked down to the river down here and it's spooking this female. This is a big bear down here. Mother is clearly nervous about having this big male stroll into the scene here. So I'm going to back them back away. Well, I have backed away from them. I'm going to give them even more room. Uh, this male is just laying in the uh, in the creek cooling off. So I'm kind of shooting through some trees here, trying to get a clean shot at him. Um, I gotta I gotta try and keep my eye on a couple of different bears here. So forgive me if I'm not talking to the camera much. I'm trying to keep my eyes open so I don't get myself in any trouble here. Right now everything's cool. The bears are a long ways away that way, the mother with the cub. And then this, this big male is a long ways down here in the water relaxing. So I'm going to kind of relax, try and figure out what's going to happen here. But this is, this is awesome. This is fun. I love, love, love this. As long as I can keep everybody happy, everything calm, everybody just wants their berries, and I just got to stay out of it and uh, observe, basically. That is a fatty McChubby bear. 
he just got off and he's wandering downstream a little bit. Uh, I would have never seen him because I had my back to him, but the female with the cub, uh, obviously animals are way more aware in the forest than I am. And when I, I saw her stand up and look that direction, and of course then when I look that direction, I see that bear come out. And uh, so anyway, that's super cool. Uh, three bears, I gotta be kind of careful, but um, so far it's, it's great. Um, no excellent photos, but man, am I having a good time. All right, I've left. I've left that scene with the black bear mother and cub. Um, it was really cool. And leaving that is kind of a difficult thing to do, in a sense. Uh, I also just, I didn't like the setup there with having that big, big male bear in the same area. Uh, and then a mother with her cub. Uh, she was getting real comfortable. Well, or while I first found her, she was totally comfortable. And then once that male bear entered the scene, she kind of, she was keeping an eye on him down there and uh, just wasn't as comfortable. And I didn't really want to be a part of that dynamic in there anymore. So uh, I've just backed away. They're not even in sight anymore. And um, I'm going to let them go be bears, do their thing. Uh, I am going to keep wandering down and um, see what else happens this afternoon. It's already been really fun. And um, just to spend time with wild bears in the woods uh, is very exciting and very fun. And especially when everybody's cool and everybody's comfortable and there's zero drama at all. And I can just observe and make a few photos and shoot a little bit of video. So um, just a great time to be out here enjoying fall in the Tetons. So. Um, yeah, just gonna enjoy the the forest and keep moving around. See if I find anything else interesting out there. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on all the time. Just gotta find it. All right, while I'm here, I'm gonna do a quick landscape photo. I'm kind of wildlife mode today, but uh, when I see something that I like, I'm gonna take his picture. In this case, I've got a beautiful aspen trunk over here. There's a few of them. There's three, that set of three over there with some yellows and oranges and stuff. So, I'm gonna use this 500 millimeter lens and focus on the trunk and then have some of the beautiful oranges and yellows slightly out of focus uh, in the background. It's just, it's kind of a nice pretty fall scene with the aspen, the beautiful white aspen trunk and then some yellows and oranges and a few reds even in there too. Um, Not my greatest photo ever, but it's pretty and it's very like, it screams that it's it's fall and uh, I kind of like it. So I'm gonna take it, actually as a horizontal, I think I like it maybe even better. I like it. I just had to adjust a little bit to get the composition I wanted there, but it's nice. Not as nice as if there was a bear climbing on that tree, but still nice nonetheless.
so I'm getting ready to go back to my car. The light's kind of going away. Um, it's starting to get dark. It's time to start heading back. But as I'm walking through the forest here, I hear some bull elk bugling. I think there's two of them. He's not very far away. Um, so it's a long shot, but I'm going to try and sneak up on him and see if I can get a photo of him. But I'm going to have to be like as quiet as I can be, which isn't very quiet. I'm not very stealthy. But I'm going to try and sneak up and see if I can maybe get a picture of this bull elk. Maybe I'll get lucky, but i got to go slow and be quiet. And hopefully he keeps bugling so I can kind of track him through the woods here. He's cold. All right, the elk are gone. I still hear them bugling, but they've moved quite a ways away, so they smelled me or heard me or both. They're smarter than I am in the woods for sure, so uh, this will be the end of the video for me today. I'm going to get back to my car, but uh, had a blast today. Got to see some bears, make a few photos. That was great. Uh, fall colors are just spectacular. Um, I wore my Sasquatch hat. That's always nice. And um, just a great, great day, great time to be out in the woods here. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you do find yourself coming to the Tetons and want to do some photography instruction uh, workshop with me uh, or a tour just to show you around the park and uh, try and find some wildlife and scenery for you, that'd be awesome. Check the link in the description. That'll take you to my website. And uh, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And finally, last but not least, have a great day. And I'll see you on the next uh, episode here. Take care. Bye.